This is the most expensive Goodwill I've literally ever been to. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. So it is now mid-September and I know I've already made some fall videos, but I feel like it's actually officially time, at least not with the weather where I live, but seasonally, I think it's properly okay to start talking about fall. And so today I wanted to do one of my come through with me's for the seasonal fashion trends, which is fall 2022. I've already made a video taking clothing that I already own and like creating outfits that are part of the fall trends because obviously you should use what you already have. But one of my favorite things to do with each season is to look at the fashion trends, go to the thrift store, see how many I can find just to show that if you do like a specific trend or style, you can most likely find it secondhand. Today, I am back at the Goodwill that I filmed my summer 2022 fashion trends video because they have dressing rooms. Yay! Usually with these videos, I don't necessarily buy anything. It's more about, again, just trying to find the trends, which I have about 10 different fall 2022 fashion trends I'm going to be looking for. If I see some other things that are like cute, that are aligned with like fall trends, then I will like try it on. But before we get into what trends I'll be looking for, I did just want to thank today's sponsor, which is Pila. And I love Pila. You guys know that. They're one of my favorite companies to partner with. And if you don't know who Pila is, all their products are 100% compostable. And they were actually the first ever company to have a compost phone case and this cute little phone case has little flowers on it I love their phone grip it has been a game changer I know that sounds so silly but literally I just I, I love it so much their phone cases are super soft but also made with military grade protection so they are drop proof up to six feet and I throw my phone literally all the time I am so surprised I have yet to crack it literally this Pila case has been a lifesaver I also have a Pila smartwatch band that matches my phone group. Pila's whole mission is to create a waste-free future and I feel like taking the items that we just love to customize and add personality with cute designs and patterns that are not going to harm the environment is just amazing. They are actually giving the first 40 people to use my code AlexaSunshine 40% off their first order so definitely click the link right down below and thank you so much Pila for sponsoring today's video. Now I don't want to overlap too much with the trends that I've already talked about so so the first thing I'm going to be looking for are maxi lengths and I've talked about it in the last fall trends video that I did but maxi skirts maxi dresses I also saw maxi slip dresses on a couple different trends lists and I thought that would be really cool to try to find number two is plaid obviously preppy style is always super trendy for fall time that's just like it, it just makes sense so I want to see if I can find any plaid pieces number three is leather and I I don't think I will really find any like leather pants or anything and honestly I don't think I can put leather pants on my body right now it's way too hot where I live so I'm thinking I will go into the jackets try to find you know a leather jacket leather blazer that kind of thing number four is extra outerwear and I personally already own you know enough jackets but I do want to see what kind of jackets that they have number five over the knee boots personally it's quite difficult for me to thrift shoes at the thrift store so I thought it would just be interesting to take take you into the shoes at this particular thrift store. Number six is baggy denim. I uh, don't really go into the denim sections in Goodwills. I just never have good luck. For some reason, Savers always has the best denim, but Goodwill doesn't. So I want to see if I can maybe have some better luck today. Number seven is saturated knits fun knits very bright knits number eight is baggy bomber so bomber jackets i haven't put a bomber jacket on my body probably since 20 16 if i'm gonna be honest i used to be really into bombers i don't really love bomber jackets but that would be interesting to see if i can find it here number nine is pastels pastels for fall and then number 10 is a heart necklace these types of necklaces i've been seeing everywhere i don't usually go well i do go into the jewelry section at the thrift store but not like with the intent like i don't know i just never really find anything so i want to see if i can find this at this thrift store i don't know i feel like probably not that's more of like a depop like poshmark type of thing yeah those are the 10 trends i'm gonna be looking for and yeah let's go into the thrift store 
So as I was walking up to Goodwill, I noticed some construction and apparently they actually have blocked off like 70% of the store to remodel. Um, so this is what it actually looked like. There was a very small amount. I mean, honestly, there was a good, good amount ish of clothes, but not that many. And yeah. Okay, so I didn't know they're remodeling the store. So like the majority of the store was completely, as you saw, like cut off. They did saw dressing rooms open, but like it, was like really hard to film so I'm gonna have to adjust this video I think yeah just realities of thrifting you know okay I googled the closest goodwill this one I've actually been to back I think in 2019 and it was okay it wasn't like my favorite goodwill but it's the closest one and I think they had dressing rooms so Okay, so it's like really, really quiet in here and there aren't that many people, but I had found this like fuzzy jacket and I thought that could go for the fuzzy or the, the what was it? The outerwear thing where it's like extra outerwear or something. Um, so I'm taking that as a sign to stay because I was going to go just to Savers, but I really, really want to go into the dressing room. So we're just making do. Mmm, little Zara. This isn't a bomber, is it? Maybe it's kind of like, no, it's not a bomber. This is cute. Oh my god, it's $19. Okay, I really wish these pants were in my size. They are in a 2X. Okay, they have some really great jackets here. I mean, this is originally from Wild Fable. Oh my god, it's also $19. This is the most expensive Goodwill I've literally ever been to. Oh my gosh. So this Goodwill was definitely a lot smaller. And so I found every time I tried to take out my camera and film myself, someone would come up right behind me because the like aisles were quite small. Again, like honestly, I'm used to going to Savers, which is literally a warehouse <laughs> compared to this one it's still a good size but i think obviously because i was filming if i wasn't filming like it wouldn't have been that bad but i just found every time i tried to film somebody would like come up and there were a lot of families and so i didn't want to like be taking out my camera so i mainly just used my phone and like this video went so differently than how i would wanted it to i tried to look for plaid to like go into the plaid trend and that kind of thing maybe it also shows obviously at the thrift store you're not gonna like find a bunch of trendy stuff that's not the point of it it's literally just to show that like you know a lot of times they can have certain trends or certain styles but it's not that there wasn't anything there was just nothing that was really grab like grabbing my my interest this dress i was tempted it was like this lace dress it was the only thing where i was like oh that could be a good layering piece not really for the trends this sweater vest was also pretty cute i like the past I have another enough sweater vest so I left it. I also did find some plaid skirts where I was like, oh, okay, this does go with the trend. I think they were originally from Brandy Melville because they were very, very tiny, but I did find some plaid. I did, you know, find cute clothing, but because I knew I didn't really want to buy anything, I think that's what also kind of limited me. And then also just in that I already went to a thrift store, it didn't work out. And so then I went to another one. It wasn't really working out. This button up, I did think was cute. There was a very big stain on it um but not very fall which was my 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 reason this skirt was also very cute it wasn't a size 14 so it wasn't my size but i did really really like it i was trying to find different sweaters and stuff they did have a good amount of sweaters on a bunch especially for fall time so i ended up not getting any that like were really catching my attention this dress i thought was cute it was a little bit damaged so i ended up leaving it juicy couture sweatpants i thought was cool and the only three things i did pick up was first this fuzzy jacket i actually really really liked it but it was 19 dollars. and with the amount of jackets i have i was like eh, no i think it does go with the trend of like the crazy outerwear and stuff it was very comfy this gingham blazer was so cute definitely not my size so i left it but i did think that was cute not very much a, a fall trend but 
pastels technically that was a trend and then the other fuzzy jacket i picked up to try on was this black one i didn't end up going to the dressing room just because i only picked up jackets honestly so i felt like that was kind of a waste but yeah oh i did go into their shoe section i felt like they had over the knee boots none that were my size but i did just want to make that know i feel like goodwill say most thrift stores i go to have a good amount of like long boots i think because that was definitely a big trend in the 2010 so definitely recommend all right uh that one mm, differently yeah I had, I had better like higher expectations just that like it just wasn't doing it for me and also literally the most expensive goodwill i've ever been to um yeah i like you know found some cute stuff but nothing that i was like obsessed with and nothing on our list which makes me so sad and so now i'm trying to figure out like should i go to savers then just to like see if we can find it not to like buy stuff but then i'm like I, the whole reason why I wanted to go to Goodwill is because of the dressing rooms, but I didn't even find anything here that I wanted to try on, like, in the dressing rooms. I don't know. I think I'm gonna just go to Sabres. It's just a little bit of a drive from this one, but I feel like if I end the video now, like, I just feel like I won't upload it. I feel like I need to go to one more thrift store. Alrighty, thrift store number three. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. I think I'm just gonna go through the store and try to find, again, the trends and then maybe, like, collect them. And then at the end, like, go through it. I'm really not sure. We're just, we're just going with whatever is thrown at us today. Okay, I'm over in the pajama section. It seems that somebody already got to the slips and everything. It's like completely empty. Um, just trying to see if I can find like a slip dress that was like a maxi. kind of didn't have the greatest look here either. I went over to the sweaters and they have the smallest section of sweaters and they're all cardigans. They're not even sweaters. They have a bigger section of bathing suits still, which makes sense. Come on. It's early September, honestly, of when I'm filming this. So it makes sense that they don't have a bunch of sweaters, but definitely made this fall thrift trip. Not that great. This dress was really cute. It, I think, I don't know if, it would really work it's very thin so i ended up leaving it i feel like i found a lot of stuff that then was cute but wasn't on the list of what i wanted to find and because i didn't want to buy anything i ended up leaving so it wasn't the worst thrift trip or anything it just went very differently than what i had planned still some cute stuff like even that top that's cute probably wouldn't wear it to be honest i'm really trying to like not just pick up stuff because it's cute and if i'm like actually gonna wear it and that kind of thing and i felt like this trip very much was like cute stuff but i'm just really not gonna wear it they also don't have a jacket section either they only have that up probably end of september so they just have a blazer section really not that many blazers it was a sunday i was filming this on so that's why it's like kind of you know, a messy because it was like midday when I ended up finally getting to the thrift store. That blazer was really cute. It was kind of itchy, so I wanted to leave it. I did find this really cute, like nighty. It was very thin. It's it's a pajama dress. I do have pajama dresses that I wear casually, but this one, the color just really wasn't my jam, so I left it. I ended up giving up and going into the home decor because they had some really cute home decor. Like, look at the pigs and the cow. It was so adorable, the little kitty. I didn't need to buy any of it. I'm definitely a clutter person trying to get better at it. Oh my gosh, that fruit, like, well, Ben, I wanted to buy it so much. There were so many cute home decor pieces. <laughs> so, wow, I feel like this is 
the but like not in a bad way that this was like the worst thrift trip but in a way where like I purposely didn't want to buy anything and I was looking for stuff that was very very specific it's just a reality of thrifting we're just it's just how it is sometimes and that's totally okay I mean it's better for me tonight to not find anything than just get a bunch of stuff that I don't even like the only thing is then I feel like this video is pointless um but I'm gonna upload it anyway just because I, I want to keep it realistic when it comes to thrifting. It's very rare and not realistic to honestly find a bunch of stuff. A lot of times you end up only finding one thing and in that that's like a positive. So yeah, I'm still gonna upload it. Obviously thrifting for fall 2022 fashion trends didn't go how I wanted it to, but I think I did still find like plaid. There were like lawn dresses, just nothing that I particularly liked. The heart necklace was the only one, honestly, I really did want to find and potentially buy, but that's okay. I can definitely probably get it on Depop if it's something I really want. And obviously I already did a video styling fall 2022 fashion trends of things that I already own. So I already personally own a lot of these like trends just in general in my closet. I feel like that video, because most of those pieces were thrifted as well, still kind of works and me just trying to explain that this video was not a waste of time. I think also because my uh, thrift stores aren't really in like fall mode, there aren't really fall pieces. As you saw, there was a very limited selection of sweaters. Obviously, it's definitely still in summer mode, so I I'm sure that's also why, but you know, that'll be something to look forward to in October. But thank you all for watching and like really thank you for watching as much as it was a fail and let me know in the comments right down below where are you excited to wear this fall i'm just i'm so excited for sweaters honestly the other day i was looking at my sweaters and i was like wait maybe i'll get some sweaters this year because i feel like last year i didn't because i felt good with the sweaters that i had and i do feel good but i kind of want to like dabble and like try some on and and that kind of thing so yeah very excited for when it actually becomes cold because literally the amount of sweat that is dripping down my forehead right now is terrible if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion usually my thrift trips are a little bit better than this one then make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time i make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram which is alex and 83 i will see you in my next video and i hope you have a super sunny day bye